If Bamboo Lab and E3D had a baby, it would probably look like this. The TZ V6 Hot M. It goes up to 300 Celsius and claims to have a similar flow rate that you'll see on a Bamboo Lab X1C. This hot end also picks up some of that E3D design, which is good for someone who doesn't own a bamboo machine like myself. Well, since my old hot end just died, it's perfect time to see if this hot end lives up to the hype. Before getting into the performance, I just want to show what's in the box. I got the bundle that comes with two extra nozzles, though honestly, the standalone would have been fine since it uses regular V6 nozzles anyway. Inside the box, you also get an optional mount connector, some cables, a pack of thermal paste, a few screws, and some basic assembly tools. I had to reprint the hot end mount for my stealth burner, but installation itself was almost dropped in. The only tricky part was recrimping the connectors since my 2 a PCB uses a different connector type, but it's not a big deal, just something to note if you're trying this yourself. Since I'm not printing anything abrasive right now, I replaced the hardened steel nozzle with a plated copper one to hopefully improve flow performance. Now let's see what this thing can really do. I started simple by printing PLA with a 0.4 nozzle at 200 Celsius. Right off the bat, I'm seeing around 20 to 22 cubic millimeters per second before under extrusion starts showing up. That's roughly two thirds of the claimed 33 cubic millimeter per second. But of course, flow rate depends a lot on filament type and temperature. So let's try to push it a little bit hotter. At 220 Celsius, which is the same as E3D uses for the official test, the TZ V6 goes up to 26 cubic millimeters per second. For comparison, the original E3D V6 maxed out at 10 cubic millimeters per second, so that's already more than double the flow. Then I switch over to printing ABS at 280 Celsius, which is about the same test condition as Bamboo uses for their hot end, and somehow it failed to print. I've probably tried at least 10 different times, with different PID tunings, slicer settings, and even a different ABS filament rated for higher temperature. But every time the hot end just couldn't seem to keep up. Even when printing at a lower temperature of 260 Celsius, I could see the temperature starts to drop until Clipper eventually shuts it down for safety. Also, today I learned that overheating black filament can somewhat turn it blue. The only time I managed to complete the print is printing it at 250 Celsius and I got about 28 cubic millimeters per second, which is getting pretty close to what it claims. So unless I'm missing something, I would say this hot end's limit is probably around 26 to 28 cubic millimeters per second. But let me know in the comments if anyone has different results because I'll be curious to compare notes. Putting performance aside, I think the design of the TZ V6 is what really sells it for me. When compared to the Bamboo Lab hot end, the TZ V6 here block has two extra screws securing the heat brick. This will probably help prevent bending if the nozzle ever crash. And the fact that it's compatible with V6 nozzle, that alone gave me a ton of flexibility for different nozzles without changing out the entire hot end. So for about the same price as a Bamboo Lab hot end, you're getting close to similar performance and way more compatibility. But if you're still looking for more flow rate out of this, I've seen mods where they put a 80 watt heater on this, essentially doubling the power and that would probably help keep up with printing at higher temperatures and resolve the issue I was facing earlier. I've also read that using a CHT style nozzle or even just a bigger nozzle would boost the flow rate further. I've actually just got a 0.6 nozzle myself but haven't tested it yet so if you'd like to see that in a follow up let me know down below. For me, I'm not really chasing really high speed printing yet. I just want a reliable printing at a good value. I was originally looking at the Dragon Ace hot end to replace my broken one and it will probably outperform the TZ V6 but it's also much more expensive. So in that sense, I feel like the TZ V6 really delivers. Realistically, I would set the slicer's max flow rate to around 20 to 24 cubic millimeters per second for reliable printing and that's plenty fast for most of what I do. So if you're running a non-bamboo printer and want a decent performance at an affordable price, I think the TZ V6 might just be the sweet spot. But what do you think of this hot end? Would you get one for yourself? I've linked the exact one that I bought down below if you're interested. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one.